Do you want to create an excellent social media presence for your business? Are you tired of reading through lengthy articles for helpful tips that will help you rope in those likes and followers? We know the pain. That is why we have done a roundup about what you should not do for your business's social media accounts. Let us get started right away. Social media no no number 9 wing it. Here is the cardinal rule for successful anything. Prepare in advance. Social media posts are no exception. Except for those time when you have to do something spontaneously, you must have a proper plan for posting. How to ensure that? Number 1. It would help if you have a proper social media calendar for every month. This will help you cover special days and create content that is seasonally appropriate for your brand for example for a brand like cadbury the time to go for the extra mile for social media engagement is the days leading to up to valentines day the reason chocolates will sell the most during the season of love number 2 decide beforehand what posts to do for what day of the week do this at least a month in advance and number 3 have your post done at least a week prior this make sure that you don't miss out on posting if you don't plan you will not see results so ensure that you stay ahead of the curve you can always add something spontaneously but that should not become your default strategy social media no no number 8 try to sell all the time yes you have a product you should promote it on social media but here is the catch it should not be the only thing that you are doing on your social media platform if you do that all the time your target audience will drop off how annoyed do you feel when those hard selling phone calls come to you if you only pushing for sales on social media you become that dreaded hard seller to your follower Even if you post about your products you should try to engage rather than sell on social media if you want some inspiration check out the social media channel of Netflix they do a great job of talking about their movies without asking you to pay up social media no no number 7 post sporadically look at any brand that you like on social media they all post regularly you should do that too See the moment you stop posting you lose your traction on the platform any handle that updates content on a regular basis is favored by the algorithms and gain momentum faster not to mention social media platforms have tons of brand that generate a tremendous amount of content every minute your audience will never lack something to look at but you will lose out of your audience it is a classic case of out of sight out of mind social media no number 6 overthink your content social media is a place where you have to be consistent if you dawdle too much over what to post you will end up wasting time think of the twitter handle of mario webster the dictionary is an internet legend for its funny comebacks and witty posts but do you see it posts something epic every day well of course not most days it post about standard stuff that is because the brand knows that posting regularly is more important than hitting 100 every day so don't overthink it even if you commit a mistake or or have a typo it really does not matter in the long run for your brand it does not matter if your post today does not make it to the internet hall of fame there is always a tomorrow what is important is that you keep posting social media no no number 5 ignoring comments and direct messages the primary message of being on social media is to interact with people so when people do interact with your brand you should take the communication forward enthusiastically check your comments and direct messages is someone asking a question is there some good feedback does someone have a suggestion or is someone simply saying that they like you engage with your audience answer them it shows that you care you can look at brands like wendy's which regularly communicates with its audience 
and even give some sassy replies. Social media no number four, posting creatives and videos that look unfinished. The world has moved ahead in terms of technology. As a result, our expectations about media and technology have changed significantly. So if you're posting photos or videos, make sure that they are professionally edited and look polished. Social media is a powerful PR tool and you want to put your best foot forward for it. Well done photos and videos create a good impression on your audience and are more engaging. Secondly, good quality visual content shows that your brand is well equipped technically. In the age of technology, it is a definite plus. Yes, even the memes you want to post, edit them carefully. Social media no number three, come across as fake. Make sure that there is no disconnect between your brand's personality and its social media messaging. Be authentic. Imagine a brand like Microsoft. If it's today, it starts to write its post using gangsta rap words, it will feel incongruous. Similarly, if Bill Nye, the science guy, starts using sports jargon, it will have a pretty jarring effect. Make sure your brand messaging is consistent. Don't try to pretend to be someone else when you are not. If you do, you will end up confusing your audience and putting them off. Social media norm number two, never have CTAs. Yes, selling in social media is tricky, but you should have a clear call to action for every post that you make. Let us look at this way. Every post have a purpose. When you are posting something in social media, you want your audience to take some desired action. It may be something as simple as wanting them to subscribe to your channel. If you want something from your audience, you have to prompt them to do it. Whether you want them to buy something or click on a link or visit your website, you should have a CD. Think of the popular YouTubers like the guy with the glasses or Jashraj Mukhate. Every post of theirs come with a CD. Their video description will always ask you to follow, like or share. You should do the same. Social media no number one, act like a billboard. After doing all that, what is the most important tip for you? Interact. Your social media handles are not static billboards. Your job does not stop after you put up a post. You have to engage your audience actively. You have to find new ways to initiate conversation. Here is how you can do. Number one, go live from time to time. Number two, conduct relevant polls. Number three, ask your audience questions. Number four, take questions from them and address them in your posts and videos. Number five, post behind the scenes stuff to give your audience a chance to be participant in your brand story. Number six, tag people. Number seven, conduct contests. Number eight, put up puzzles. Number nine, ask for the feedback. And number 10, give a shout out to share and cross promote other relevant social media handles and users. The more you do this, the more activity you are likely to see. Start slowly and the more activity you do, it will help your channel to grow that much faster. Remember, social media is like a cycle. The more active you are, the more you will engage. And the more you will engage with your audience, the more involved they will be, which will give you more ideas to staying active. If you feel you need more help, with your social media strategy talk to us keep watching this space and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel thank you